What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Koga for our fifth gym battle right here. Gym badge, I should say. And now we're able to use our two Pokemon that have been traded to us, which is Dr Dragonair and Sandslash. So they got another 10 levels just to, you know, impress us and all that stuff. And now it is finally time for us to actually go straight to Saffron City. Now, there was a little bit of an issue. We couldn't go into the Saffron City just yet because, well, the entranceway is blocked from four, or from, yeah, from four different ways. One in Celadon, one close to where Cer uh, Cerulean City is near Route 5, the next one near Route 8, and the following one near Route 6. So we're going to be going straight to Vermilion's, or Vermilion City just to get to uh, Saffron, or yeah, just to get to Saffron. Now the only thing is that you need a T, need a T from uh, Celadon City. You will be able to get that T from Brock once you meet him up in Celadon City. Now, here we are. Look at that. It's been a while. I haven't been here in quite some time. Look at these people. They're just like saying hello. And there is a Growlithe right there. Now, in our last episode, we actually got to use two different Pokemon, Dubasaur and Budkiss. Eventually, I'm going to fully evolve Budkiss. Now, here we are at the entrance. And this guy's like, if a Pokemon you're walking with suddenly stops as if, if, if it's surprised, that means it's found an item for you. Now, I haven't gotten any of my Pokemon to walk with me in quite some time, so I might be doing this in this episode right here. Oh, that tea you have. It looks awfully tasty. What? I can have a drink? Gee, thanks! Glug, 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 glug. Glug, 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 glug. Well, glug, glug. If you want to go to San Francisco, glug, I guess I, I can let you pass. Glug, glug, glurp. I'll share this tea with the guards working on the other or gates around the city, too. Okay, alrighty, so that's all it takes, guys. Now, we're finally in Saffron City, and unfortunately, Team Rocket is on the loose. This guy's walking around, he's like, Saffron City belongs to Team Rocket. Well, shit. Now, first things first, I'm gonna go right here, because we, def we desperately need this move. This is Mr. Psychic's uh, house, and he's gonna be like, Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. We got ourselves a TM40 Psychic. Finally, a move that can actually be worthwhile for uh, Mew De Uno. And that is not the place I wanted to go. Let's go to the TM case right here. We got quite a few good moves. Let's give this to Mew De Uno. Finally, a good move. A very, very special move. We're going to replace that Psy Wave, which was ridiculous. And it turned his attack with an odd Psychic Wave. The attack varies in intensity, so... Yeah, it was just going to be a random hit to just pretty much anything. So, there we go. We got Psychic. And, well, let's see. There's an X Scissors right here. Oh, it's a physical attack. I'm going to use that on Sand Slash because, uh, yeah, we're going to be battling a Psychic-type gym leader around here soon. And, huh. Well, shit. Okay. I'm going to take away Swords Dance for the time being. Don't really need it since it's already a very, very good physical attacker. There we go. X Scissor has been uh, taught. And now, uh, crud, I'm trying to sit down here. No more. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, continue our adventure right here in Saffron City. Now, like I said before, Team Rocket's on the loose. And they're Team Rocket's on the loose. And they're here to take over uh, Silphco. Now, we will be getting to the Silphco in the next episode. As you can see, my life as a criminal makes me feel so alive. There's uh, Jesse and James. Just let us through already! No way. Only authorized members are allowed. I was told not, not to not let uh, uh, no one else in. How can you say that when we're on the same side? How rude. You deny a beautiful girl what she wants? Move it already! Oh, damn. <laughs> Jesse. Mmm. Hey, Jesse, wait for me. Jesse. Oh my god, I do love a woman with power. And this guy right here is, uh, <laughs> wondering what's going on. Blurt! Looks like he blacked out. Well, that's a good way to explain why he was not blocking this way. Yeah. 
Anywho, uh, let's continue on right here. Like I said, we're going to be going into the Silco in the next episode. Right here, we're just going to be exploring Saffron City and all, and then going into the Karate Dojo. And I do believe there's somebody here that, of interest. Let's see. I'm a huge Raichu fan who came all the way from Alola. Let's trade your Cantonian Raichu with my Raichu. And, well, let's see. Hold on just a sec. Hold on just a sec. Maybe I do have a Raichu here uh, that I can just, like, pawn off. Now, as you can see, I do have three Pikachus, one being Alila, Aaliyah, and the other one I nicknamed Raichu because I wanted to evolve this guy into the perfect Raichu. Both those two Pikachus I captured are with perfect stats, near-perfect stats, so I kind of want to just trade her a regular Pikachu or Raichu and all that stuff, and I don't have it. So that's going to have to wait for the next episode or so. Because I really don't want to trade those two uh, Pikachus. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Pokemon's uh, growth rates differ from species to species. That is true. And the, what does this guy have to say? Silco is widely known to all. It's a victim of its own fame. It's attracted Team Rocket. You don't say. Okay. And here's a little kid. What does he have to say? Sigh. Wouldn't it be great if the Elite Four came and stomped out Team Rocket? It would, but, you know, we have to be the heroes. We have to be the mature ones and all that stuff. So, let's see. We're going to be exploring this place, and uh, you know what? I might be using some new Pokemon for uh, the the dojo, mainly because kind of don't want to grow my Pokemon's levels just yet because, damn, level 60. And, well, if you talk to this girl, let's see. Thank you for, uh, for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey! Don't look at my letter. Huh. This guy, the copycat, is cute. I hear she really likes the fairy, so I'm going to go show it to her once I catch one. Hmm. You don't say. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty. So, let us move on right here. We're going to be talking to a lot of people. Team Rocket is just all over the place, and I think this is the copycat's house. Yes, this is. My daughter likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. In fact, people now call her the copycat because of her mimicry. Hmm. And then, let's see, if you talk to this lady, my daughter is all is so self-centered. She has but a few friends. Maybe she'll mellow down in uh, a little, a little if you show her a Pokemon she likes. Wait a minute. Okay, so we got to show her a Pokemon she likes. Let's see if we do have one. I think we do have a shiny Clefairy with us. Hold on. Let's see. There's an item right here. Hi! Do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm, quit mimicry. Quit mimicking. But that's my favorite hobby. The hell? There is an item right here. Okay, there is an item right here. Uh, okay, that's her. Okay, so there is an item right here. And we can't do anything right now until... Let's see. Oh, crud. Okay, so do we have a, uh, let's see. What if we put Clefairy on our team? Please tell me I did not put my shiny Clefairy in here. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Check summary. Nope, this is a regular Clefairy. I think I have my shiny Clefairy in my box. But you know what? Let's go ahead and put this on our team. Let's see... What happens if we put that right there and... Oh, it's you! You can hear me to mimic again. You have a Clefairy with you? Do you want to show it Copycat? So, I guess if you have... Yeah, Clefairy, you want to show it Copycat, you can do that right here. Just press yes. Oh, wow, real-life Clefairy! I've never seen one before. Thank you so much! You know what? I'll give you a TM that lets your Pokemon create a copy of itself. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a TM-08 substitute. And, well, it says it contains Substitute. It lets your Pokemon create a decoy of itself by spending it some HP, which is good, I guess. Again, where is the item? Okay, hold on. Hi, thanks for earlier. Pardon? Hmm? Okay. Again, there is an item right here. Right there! Okay, so we found ourselves a Moonstone. Okay, I didn't even know that that was there. Huh! That's, uh, that's interesting. Okay, so that is that for the copycat girl. And now, we're just going to have to move on right here. Let's see. 
Oh yes, there are two gyms in Saffron City. Of course, one of them will be blocked because that's the main gym. But here we are in the fighting dojo. So what we're going to do right here, guys, is we're going to be using some different Pokemon on our team. Let's see. Some uh, good Pokemon. And of course, we're going to have Mew on standby just in case we kind of need its backup. So... Let's see, as of right now, we can't use any of these Pokemon still because the cap is now... The cap is now at level 60, and yeah, most of these guys, except for Tank, can't be used. Let's go back to Budkiss right here. And switch it out to Clefairy. And, well, let's see, Scyther is at level 24, definitely not going to use that Pokemon. And let's put in Pidgeot right here. Where should we put it? Let's go with Sandslash. And one more Pokemon. We kind of want to use one more Pokemon right here. Let's see. Golbat. Fero. Shiny Fero. Yes, guys, I did capture myself a Shiny Fero. I kind of want to use Godzilla, but no. No, it's not going to happen. Screw it. Let's use Dubasaur. And put this guy... Let's put this guy where Leonardo's at, okay? We do have Mew as backup. And let's see, do we have it right here? Let's see, power up pocket. We do have a Firestone, so let's do it. Let's use Firestone onto our Buckiz. We did promise it to evolve it within the next episode, so here it is, guys. Buckiz is finally evolving. And this guy right here definitely deserves it because of all the stuff that it has done in, for us in the beginning of this whole walkthrough. And look at that Buckiz, the Arcanine. Alrighty, look at that. Look at this Pokemon right here. It's all majestic and all that crud. And look at this. Arcanine's data has been added. Wow, 359 pounds. This Pokemon, and 8 feet. Good God, this Pokemon's big. So, the legendary Pokemon. A legendary Pokemon in the East. Many people are charmed by its grace and beauty of running. Okay, so... If there was anything I wanted to do right now, that is that I kind of want to put this guy out of his Pokeball. So, finally. Look at this. <laughs> We're riding on our Arcanine. Look at this. Holy crap. Oh, man. Buckus, you are a beast. So, here we are in the Fighting Dojo. And, well, first is first. There is a Dojo Master. Not a Dojo Master, but a, co a Coach Trainer. Let's go ahead and move it around. Let's go with uh, Pidgeot right here. And talk to her. Hey, I'm a coach trainer. I'm uh, on loan to the fighting dojo. I'm a pretty strong trainer. You want to have a battle? Sure. Let's have a serious battle. Hiya! Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Another battle against a coach trainer right here. And she, her name is Leona. Did not know she was here, by the way. And look at that. She's coming out with a Machoke. Big old buff Machoke. And here comes a Pidgeot. Alrighty. All right, level 36. It's a good level. Let's go wing attack right here. Oh, yes. Okay, and I think this Pokemon does have some good stats, too. I think that's the reason why I captured it. So let's go ahead and use that wing attack. Let's get it. Wing attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay, all righty. Pidgeot kicking ass. And she's going to come out with an Electabuzz right here. So let's go with Dubasaur. Definitely have a good uh, a good Pokemon on standby right here. So let's go, Dubasaur. First battle as a Venusaur for me. And look at that. Electabuzz looking like a beast right there. Hopefully it doesn't have Fire Punch. Let's go with the Poison Powder. And Thunder Punch. Not so effective, but guess what? Poison Powder will start draining your energy. Oh, yes. Strategic when you have a Grass-type Pokemon, guys. Trust me, it works all the time. So, here we go. Let's get this. Takedown attack. And here we go. Takedown. Takes a good chunk. We get a little bit of recoil. Here comes another Thunder Punch. Not so effective, but guess what? You're still poison, buddy. Alrighty. Time to do the best thing possible. Let's go with a Petal Dance. And good God. Stop hitting us with the Thunder Punch. Pedal Dance does its trick. We should have started off with that right there. Okay, so there we go. We get more points. And we defeated Fio uh, Leona. Totally defeated. That's right, girl. That's right. 
She will give us this Thunder Punch, which is also a very good move. And of course, it contains Thunder Punch. Smash your opponents with a fist wreath with an electricity. Can't speak right now. What does it say right here? Fighting Dojo. Okay. So, first is first. Let's go ahead and heal up some Pokemon. Possibly teach him some new moves because uh, these are some new Pokemon that I have on my team. And there we go. Okay, so now let's go to the TM box. Oh, wow, I'm about to fall right here. So, let's see. Now, Dig can be learned by these guys. Uh, I need something that will actually do, do, do a big hit right here. And we can always teach this guy Mega Drain. Alright, let's go with the Mega Drain to uh, Dubasaur right here. He already does have Petal Dance right there. So, this guy is mostly a special attacker. I think this will actually do us a little bit better. So, here we go. Mega Drain for Dubasaur. And, let's see. Jesus. Okay, so we got Fly. We can teach Fly to uh, Pidgeot. Doesn't really have that much good moves right here. Again, guys, if you want to get a Pokemon, uh, try getting yourself a Firo instead, or a Dodrio, because Pidgeot looks majestic as hell, but is not really the best Pokemon to actually have on your team. And then, let's see, Fire Punch, Dream Eater, Dazzling Gleam, Surf, X Scissors Roost, uh, let's see, Toxic, Psychic, Thunder Punch, and Substitute. Headbutt. Well, I think I'm going to go with that right there. And we're going to step right in the middle of this dojo right here. Holy crud. Ha! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo! Oh, damn. This guy's all serious and everything. Whatever. Let's do this. You are challenged by Black Belt Hitoshi. And Hitoshi will be coming out with his primate right here. This guy coming out with a nice primate. But here we go with a Pidgeot. Alrighty, so we are prepared. This guy at level 31, not so bad. Let's go with the wing attack right here. Oh, yes. There goes Primeape. One hit, KO. Huh, it looks like uh, <laughs> it's going to be easy. Uh, it's an easy breezy, breezy battle right here, homeboy. And we are looked at in the, by another Pokemon trainer right here. And this guy is going to be like, Hiya! I have no fear for anything tough. I shatter boulders for training every day. Oh, damn. You don't say. So here we go. Another Pokemon trainer, Black Belt Aaron, would like to battle. And he... What the hell? This is not a fight. Oh, wow. Okay, so we kind of shot ourselves in the foot right there. All right, so he prepared for us. All right, we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Dubasaur right here. Don't worry, guys. We're going to be using Budkiss pretty soon here. It's just... Homeboy here came out with, uh, with a bit of a... Yeah, a little bit of a goose egg. Or not a goose egg, but... Came out with a little bit of a, uh, a curveball. So let's go, Mega Drain. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> there we go, Dubasaur. Okay, look at that. Okay. Look at my Pokemon. Kicking ass, taking names, beating all the karate guys right here. I'm feeling good about this. All right, let's move on. And yet we're still being looked at by these guys. I hear you good. I won't hold back. All righty. Alright, let's see what you got, homeboy. I have no fear on you. Black Belt Hideki wants the battle, and he's coming out with a Poliwhirl. This right here is a little interesting. He does have a Water-type Pokemon that could potentially use an Ice-type attack, so let's see what he's got. Let's go with a Fly attack right here. Okay. And nope, he's going to be using Bubble Beam, so let's go. Fly attack for the win. And there goes Poliwhirl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All righty. Look at that. And Hideki has been defeated. <laughs> Here we have the next guy. Hmm. Huh. Are you a challenger? Yes, I am. Pretty much the only challenger you might have. So... Here we go, check it on Mike, and he is coming out with his Machoke right here. Okay, alrighty. Pidgeot, this is your show right here. Majestic as you can be, let's go with Fly Attack. Because we're trying not to get hit right here in the next turn. And this guy will have a submission attack, but guess what? Fly Attack avoids that, and here comes 
the fly attack. Say goodbye to Machoke. Alrighty. Okay, look at my Pokemon kicking ass. Dubasaur grows level 35. And Black Belt Mike has been defeated. I feel good about that, guys. Alright. So, let's see. First, I gotta check my Pidgeot, because I think I got this guy because of its perfect, or its good stats, so let's see. Yeah, it has amazing stats. It's a very, very good HP, very good attack and defense, so... Yeah, it's a pretty pretty good Pokemon. Very, very good Pokemon I caught off, off screen. So, let's go right ahead and switch out to Budkiss right here. You guys have been wanting to see him. I know it's kind of like a risk doing that, but here is the Karate King, or the Black Belt Master. Karate Master, I should say. Good! I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us. Expect no mercy. Fwah! Strike first, strike hard. No mercy. Cobra Kai. And here we go. Karate Master Kuichi wants the battle. And he will be coming out with a Polyrath. Good gravy. So I picked the wrong Pokemon right here. Definitely not the Pokemon you want to be going up against, especially for Budkiss. So, <laughs> let's go, Dubasaur. God dang it. All right, Budkiss. You have, you've had your your time to shine, but we're going to go with Dubasaur right here. And here he comes out with a Bubble Beam. We can resist that. Look at that. You do nothing to us. But you do lower us uh, our speed right there. So... Let's go ahead and use a Mega Drain to get those HP powers back, and, uh, crap. Here's a Body Slam. This guy just slamming us, but guess what? Mega Drain. Takes most of your HP right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go with one more Mega Drain. And here comes another Body Slam from the Blue Blazer right here. And, bam. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. And there goes our good old buddy, Poliwrath. And, uh, well, we've done us pretty well. Budkiss grows to level 37. Koichi has been defeated. And, well, you guys already know what happens. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting type Pokemon. Oh, damn, look at that. Hit Molly, kick, kick, kick. Knuckle. Choose whichever one you like. Well, trust me, guys. I know what you're thinking. You can choose one of these Pokemon. I do have the other one on my uh, Pokemon Home. So it really doesn't matter because I will be trying to complete this Pokedex by the time you know it is all said and done. So the Pokemon I'm going to choose is going to be Hitmonlee. And, uh, well, I will be completing everything uh, in, in you know after this whole game is done. Hitmonchan will be on my PC by the next episode, or not by the next episode, but eventually it will be in my uh, PC as, uh, you know, where did I catch that Pokemon? I actually transferred it, I think. Or no, 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 I caught it. I caught it on Pokemon Go, so you want the hard-kicking Hitmonlee? Yes. There it is. We got ourselves Hitmonlee from the Karate Master. And we're going to put this guy in our PC. This guy is looking like a pimp. The kicking Pokemon. When kicking, this sole of its foot turns as hard as a diamond on impact and it destroys its enemy. Alrighty. Okay, so that's a pretty good Pokemon right there. And, well, that's right. Bow down to your sensei. That's right. Walking out like a pimp. Okay, so that was a very fun episode right there, guys. And look at that. We're riding on... Oh, my God. We are riding on this guy. Now, what does Officer Jenny have to say? Team Rocket, we've been cracking down on them, but they keep coming. Huh. And, well, let's see. Hold on. We're going to go get this right here. Grabbed ourselves a sp or an ex-special defend right there. And, well, let's ride on to Budkiss right here. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't think there's anything else that we can do. I know there's a house right there we didn't visit, but there's really nothing there. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Riding on to my freaking Arcanine right there. Anywho, guys, in the next episode, we will be going through the Sylph Co. And we will be taking care of a lot of business in there. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a doozy of an episode. I'm going to complete the whole thing, one episode. And, yeah, we're going to be using the regular team just to get through this guy. Or this, this whole thing. So, I hope you guys are ready. And, uh, yeah. 
I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm just gonna be kicking ass in the next episode, guys. So again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.